Okay, so now, oops, sorry, Facebook here, don't need that on right now. We just finished up working with uh, reducing red eye in Photoshop, and now we're going to work on getting rid of pimples and blackheads, wrinkles, and glare from flash. Uh, first thing I recommend you to do is Control A to copy the entire picture itself, and then Control J that uh, picture to a second layer. Control J basically means everything that you copy or that you have selected will be copied to a new layer. And now, since we have the second layer highlighted here, we don't need to uh, click on it, but if it doesn't, for some reason, get selected when you copy to the new layer, make sure you have it selected. Because what we want to do is we want to have the original still available so we can compare uh, our you know working image back with it. So now what we want to do is zoom in on the areas that need some correction. I'm going to zoom in in on the forehead first here because there's quite a bit of stuff that we need to work on. Um, now what we're using for tools is the patch tool on the left toolbar right here and then the clone stamp tool right here. Patch tool first, what we're going to do is uh, circle a certain area that you want to correct. Like I am circling an area here that has both glare and wrinkle on it. So that particular spot is now circled. And you want to make sure up in the patch menu that the uh, source is selected because we want to manipulate that source. So now what you do is you left click and drag that source to another area of skin that you want to sample from. And if you notice it's highlighted right now, it doesn't look like it would it would match up well, but what the patch tool does is it actually um, takes whatever sample you're using and manipulates the source to match both uh, the colors and the textures of the skin without compromising and making it look uh, unnatural. So there we go. I, I let go of the mouse clicker and this is the result. And what we do is we do this a, a few times on each spot and I would suggest that you drag it to uh, various locations to, um, to get the most natural look out of your spots of the skin as possible. And continue to do that with multiple areas till you get rid of that uh, whatever spot you're trying to correct. And um, this is a big area of the skin, so there's quite a bit to work on here. Which it's okay if you if you spend your time on it. Obviously, you want to get the best looking um, finished product that you can. So this is looking pretty decent. If we click. back on the first layer you can see that's everything that's changed so quite a bit of difference between the two. We're going to go back and uh, now we're going to work on uh, s very specific spots of the face with the uh, clone stamp tool. Now I must must say this you can use the patch tool for this particular uh, process too and I, I don't have anything against that but uh, clone stamp tool is also very good for very minute uh, specific spots on the face. First off I'll show you if I use the patch tool and circle this and do what we did before basically I got rid of that uh, that particular reflection of of glare so that's fine but the clone stamp tool what it is is exactly what it sounds like and you um, go in with it and sample one area and clone it and then basically paste it to another spot on the on the face. Uh, we do this by alt clicking on one location to uh, to basically copy it and then left click on another area of the face to uh, paste it. And that got rid of the glare there. So that's that's pretty good to go. And we're going to do that to another spot. And one more spot here. One thing about the clone stamp tool that you want to be careful of and I'm going to zoom out and show you here, is if I uh, right bracket to make it larger and sample from, alt click sample from a spot on the right side of my face and then go to the center and click it, you can see that uh, it doesn't match up whatsoever. Well that's exactly what the clone stamp tool does is it takes a copy of whatever particular spot on the face you're, you sampled from. So I'm going to control Z that and get rid of that. But what's really nice about the clone stamp tool and important for uh, personal photos is if you if we zoom into the nose here we'll see that there's quite a bit of blackhead issues here right uh, a left left bracket here to um, 
reduce the size of the clone stamp tool and sample from one spot on the face where there is no blackhead and then go over to that um, blackhead itself and erase it. I'm going to do that again for a few blackheads on the face until we've got a decent amount of them taken care of. And you'll notice that uh, there's not necessarily a consistency. We'll see some circles, um, pretty obvious circles from the clone stamp tool on the face. But that's okay, because what we're going to do now is uh, use the patch tool to get rid of that uh, inconsistent um, area of the face, or area of the this here. So there you go. And now we'll see there's also a glare on the face that we'll get rid of, too. And uh, that's taken care of, and then we've got a little bit of glare up here. So if you use both the clone stamp tool and the patch, patch tool, you can get rid of pretty much any of the imperfections that you find on the skin. If we also go down here, we can do very, very little glares, very small problems, if you want to actually go in that detailed and get rid of them by sampling another spot of the face. And then even the lips, we've got a glare on the lips that we can get rid of in very little time whatsoever. Alright, zoom out. It's looking pretty decent here. Obviously I could use the patch tool in a spot up here right above the rims of the glasses and uh, just you know little touch-ups here and there. But it's looking pretty decent. Let's check out our, our original layer. Okay, and now of course the uh, the working layer so a pretty big improvement I'd say I think um, you know once you're satisfied if you want you can you can go ahead and and hit layer and flatten image and create just a single layer again and mesh those layers together and then and save as it's it's up to you you can continue to work if you want but uh, yeah you should be able to uh, fix a lot of these problems